Arthur's Puppet Theater presents Little Red Riding Hood. Welcome to Arthur's Puppet Theater, where you choose what happens. First, choose who's playing each part. Who do you want to play the lead role? I'm ready for this. Who should be the big bad wolf? Yes! Who should be Granny? Cool! And that means I am the narrator. Hey, thanks! Arthur's Puppet Theater presents Little Red Riding Hood, as directed by you. Once upon a time, there was a little girl whose name was... <laughs> little Red Riding Hood. La la la! I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Ah, the classic choice. Little Red Riding Hood headed through the forest full of... Candy canes! A giant candy forest! It's like a dream come true! She looked up at the sky, and it was... A beautiful sunny day! la dee da What a beautiful day! Little Red Riding Hood was... Walking to Granny's house! I'm walking along! Tra-la-la-la-la! Along the way, she came across... A wolf! <gasps> Hello, little friend. What brings you to my neck of the woods on this delightfully sunny day? I am bringing a surprise to my granny. Ooh, a surprise! And what kind of surprise do you have in your... Basket? I baked my famous lemon squares for my granny. The wolf knew right then and there that he wanted that surprise for himself. So he decided to set a trap at Granny's house. I was just wondering, um, where does your Granny live? She lives in that cute little cottage in the forest clearing. And that's where I'm going now. Bye! And with that, Little Red Riding Hood went off to Granny's house. But the Big Bad Wolf knew a shortcut and planned to get there first. Moments later, Granny heard a knock at her door. Who is it? It is I, your perfect granddaughter. Come to bring you a surprise. Please let me in. Ooh, it's my granddaughter. Though, she is a little early. Coming, dear. But when Granny opened the door, it wasn't her granddaughter at all. Aha! Oh no, it's the big bad wolf. The wolf grabbed Granny, and what dastardly deed did he do? He locked her in a closet. Watch out for the dust bunnies in there, Granny! With Granny out of the way, it was time for the wolf to put his plan into action. He dressed up as Granny and waited for Little Red Riding Hood to arrive. But he didn't have to wait long. The doorbell rang. <laughs> The door's open! <clears throat> the door's open! Let yourself in! Hi, Granny! You look amazing today! But when Little Red Riding Hood got near her Granny, she noticed something weird. Granny! What big eyes you have! All the better to see you with, dearie! And what big ears you have, Granny! All the better to hear you with, dearie! And, might I add, what big teeth you have, Granny! All the better to eat you with, dearie! <gasps> you're not Granny! You're the wolf! Little Red Riding Hood started to... 
run as fast as she could to escape the wolf. You can't catch me. Na 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 na. Suddenly, Granny burst out of the closet, and she had transformed into her secret identity. A martial artist? A black belt in karate, to be precise. Get ready for a lesson you'll never forget. You don't scare me! I want that surprise! The wolf looked around and grabbed the first thing he could find. Let's see if we can strike a chord! Aha! Ah! This granny is too tough for me! I'm out of here! Little Red Riding Hood couldn't believe it, but Granny was a hero! You saved us! You're the best, Granny! So, with the wolf gone, Little Red Riding Hood and Granny finally had time to enjoy the surprise. Let's go outside and eat those lemon squares! They're my faves! And the moral of this story is, don't mess with Grannies! The end.